dear students now we are going to discuss about the topic uh, electric potential electric potential so what is the potential first of all we need to know the potential difference is nothing but the work done necessary to move a unit positive charge from one place to another against the electric force we call it as the electric potential so from uh, a to b and o plus q and plus 1 if there is a point so consider an isolated point charge plus q lying at o and a and b are two points in the electric field then uh, w a b be the work done work done by the external force in moving a uh, unit positive charge from A to B. From A to B, how much work done that happened. The, therefore, the definition goes like this. The potential difference, the potential difference between two points is one volt if one joule of one joule of work done in moving one column of charge one column of charge from one point to the other against electrical forces this is called electric potential the SI unit is a uh, uh, volt volt so the it is nothing but the work done from moving one point to another point uh, how much column how much uh, joule of work done has been happened so that is called electric potential so potential at a point near isolated positive positive charge is positive the potential at a point uh, near an isolated negative charge is always negative okay so for example now i am going to take one test charge so let me take a test charge test charge means we can do some test on this charge test charge q so if a test charge if a test charge if a test charge is moved if a test charge is moved between any two points between any two points on an equipotential surface what is the equipotential surface let me tell, tell you equipotential surface through any path the work done is zero the work done is zero this is because this is because the potential difference this is because the potential difference between two points a and b is defined as is defined as Vp that is the potential difference at potential at B and potential at B that is the difference is Wab by Q. So um, uh, EQ potential surface is nothing but if all points what is the EQ potential surface? What is the EQ potential surface? If all points on the particular surface, 
or at the same electric potential or at the the potential is same if the potential is same then we call it as the eq potential surface okay so in this topic we discussed what is electric potential so the potential difference between two points is one volt if one joule of water is moving in moving one coulomb of charge from one point to another point so test charge if you have taken q if a test charge moving from one point to another point that is the potential difference is nothing but the work done per unit charge so how much work done by the unit charge that is the potential difference so potential difference is from this to this from point a to b how much work done happened by a particular charge so that is called electric potential Students, uh, this is one of the important derivation in electric uh, uh, potential. So, electric potential, potential as line integral of electric field, as line integral of electric field. So, you suppose. Uh, a and b are two points so a and b are two points so let me connect this a and b because a charge uh, plus q the charge q which moves from a to b in a non uniform electric field it's not the the electric field is not un not uh, uniform so i can draw lines like this this is a non uniform electric field when it is moving from a to b how much force exerted and how much work done happened so the point p uh, we can note it down as the electric field at the particular point p okay so we know we should know what is the force acting on it force you know that electric force f equal to minus q e okay so this is one relation the electric force acting on it that is the external agent must apply a force in order to move q without any acceleration so how much work done so the work done for a small displacement for a small displacement for a small displacement uh, dl along a b is equal to f dot d f you know that f dot d s is the uh, displacement so how f dot d l is the uh, line integral so d l small displacement in the length so d l we can call it as so therefore the total work done in moving a charge in moving a charge from a to b is w e b equal to integral of a to b that is from this to this f dot d l so you know that work done formula w equal to f dot d l so integration between the limits okay so you know that f equal to minus q e so minus q a to b uh, e dot d l okay so this is the relation w work done in terms of electric field and the displacement vector so now uh, we can write what is the work done formula w a b you bring this q here the q to this side so w a b by q is equal to minus integral of a to b e dot d so we know that the previous definition we uh, can we know that that the definition says w a b by q is the potential difference it is the potential difference it is the potential difference that is uh, v b minus v a between the point between the uh, points a and b okay so we can write this equation as we can name this all this equation so this is the first equation and uh, this is the second equation 
and the third equation. So the equation 3 becomes like this. How it will be? Vb minus Va instead of writing Wab by Q. You can write Vb minus Va is equal to minus integral of A to B E dot dl. So if the point, if the point A lies at infinity, that is uh, uh, Va, the potential at Va is equal to 0, then the potential uh, at the point, at the point B is Vb equal to minus integral, integral of infinity to B e dot dl. So, this is the relation for the electric potential as a line integral of electric field. Students, now we are going to discuss on the topic potential at a point due to the point charge. Potential at a point due to a point charge. So, in the topic of electric field, we had discussed this point charge, how the point charge looks like. So, everything we had discussed. Let me draw the diagram of it. What is the uh, how the point charge looks like. So, uh, if it is a plus Q is the isolated charge, the electric field lines will be like this. The electric field lines, I can draw this electric field lines of positive Q will be radially outwards. Okay. So, it is radially outwards for plus Q of charge. So, uh, the electric field, uh, you can represent the electric field as E vector. You can represent a point here and the center point is O and uh, distance from the point is R. We can uh, uh, define this point is as R. Okay. Now, uh, the magnitude, the magnitude of the electric field magnitude of the electric field at a distance at a distance r at a distance r from the charge from the charge plus q is represented as is represented as follows that is e equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square uh, while studying the electric potential as a line of line integral of electric field you know that the potential the potential at a point p is given by given by B equal to minus infinity to R E dot DL. Okay. Now from the diagram you can see that this electric field, that point P, uh, it is uh, how this charge looks like. It is directly in towards uh, the charge plus Q, but the charge potential is radially outward. So, the displacement, the displacement, displacement dl of the unit charge, dl of the unit charge is directed towards the left, is directed towards the left, but E. The vector E is directed towards the right. Towards the right. Okay. So that's the angle between both this E and DL. That's the angle between 
E and DL is 180 degree. So, E dot DL is equal to E DL cos 180 degree that is minus of E DL that is cos 180 is minus 1. Okay. So, R is the measured distance. R is a measured from the charge plus Q plus origin. Okay. That is at the center O. So, as we move, as we move a distance dl to the left dl to the left the value of r decreases the value of r started decreasing isn't it am i correct when we move from here to here the r value automatically started decreasing so thus we can write dl equal to minus dr therefore e dot dl equal to minus e dl that is e dot dr minus minus become plus e dot dr now we can write this equation i can call this equation as one so from equation one we can write v equal to minus infinity uh, plus infinity to r minus of e dot dl equal to minus of infinity to r e dot dr that is minus q by 4 pi epsilon naught infinity to r dr by r square am i correct so e the value comes from 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square so q by r square e dot dr so dr by r square what is the integration of dr by r square 1 by r square dr so you can write 1 by r square dr so the integration when we integrate this thing is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r will come so this is the electric potential due to the point charge so this is the final result for electric potential due to the point charge okay so the previous session we had discussed the potential due to the point charge in this session we are going to discuss about the potential due to linear charge distribution distribution then uh, surface charge distribution charge distribution and uh, volume charge distribution so volume charge distribution so three things we are going to discuss based on the potential due to the point charge. Now, uh, let me draw the diagram. So, it is the linear charge distribution. So, linear charge distribution, one dimension that is dl dash, you can write dl dash. So, let me start with the linear charge distribution first. Linear charge distribution. So, which says if the charge is not concentrated at a point but it's distributed along a line along a line dl dash then the potential due to the, the then the potential due to this linear charge distribution is given by linear charge distribution is given by Vl is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught integral of L rho L by R L D L dash the where rho L represents the linear charge density charge density how much dense it is so dl which represent element of length of the line in meter 
So, if this is the formula to determine the linear charge distribution. So, what about the second thing that is the potential due to the due to the surface charge distribution. Surface charge distribution. So it is a two dimensional charge distribution. So if the surface is like this, when the point P here acting on it, so ds dash, we call it as a ds dash, how much uh, potential acting on it. So when the charge is distributed over the surface, V s equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught surface two dimensional. So sigma by R s ds dash. So this is the formula for surface charge distribution sigma is surface charge density surface charge density and ds dash is equal to element of the surface element of the surface then third one which is the potential due to the volume three dimension so volume charge distribution so three dimensional so we can draw a q and find what is gp at a particular from the particular point what is the volume charge distribution we are going to find so v v small v is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 2 3 3 dimensional v rho dv dash by r v so this is the formula for the volume charge distribution so where rho is the volume charge density expressed in coulombs per meter cube so here coulomb per meter square and uh, here this is coulomb per meter so what is dv dash that is element of volume in meter cube volume in meter cube so this is in meter square and this is in meters so these are the three things about this uh, linear charge distribution surface charge distribution and volume charge distribution